Hello fellow problem solvers. So today we're going to be doing a problem from Engels problem solving strategies, example number five in the extremal principle. Let's say introductory problem, first lesson in the extremal principle, which really says that whenever you have a problem and you're looking at some object, pick an object with the biggest or, or smallest property of some kind. This problem I invite you to try out for a minimum of five minutes, ideally 10 to 15, but not more than an hour. And if on the other hand, you'd like to go along with us, just read the problem and put your first idea or two out on paper and solve it really. So now let's begin. So this is what we have. We have this set such that any point in the set is a midpoint of two other, of a line con segment connecting two other points from the same set. And now we need to prove that this set is actually infinite. This is omega. And um, how would you do this? Well, like, okay, if a point is somewhere in the set, what does it mean that it's the midpoint of two other points? Well, that means there's a point that's either to the left and to the right of it, or like some, there's some orientation that these points are, like going to be further and further left or further and further right, up and down. From the point. So now like one way of thinking about this is, you know, like, can I make it so that this or like that, like pick the, if it's finite, I can pick some point somewhere that's like the final point And then maybe there's a point behind it. And how does that finality look like? Or you could also say, well, let me try to say, okay, what does it mean? I can't a midpoint between two points. And then um, I have another two, and this is again a midpoint. Like, okay, like could there be, is there some line property or some two points somewhere that make this inlet that also has some sort of shrinkage or expansion property? And if they do, assuming the set is finite, what would you do with that? Think three to five minutes and try to think about these approaches really. Okay, so the first approach is, again, assume the contrary in both approaches and take the points that's like furthest left. And if there's many points that are furthest left, like take this left line, take the one that's furthest to the down. Why? When you take the one furthest to the left, now this can be a midpoint of some point that's more to the left. Like it can be, it's, if it's, if this point is M, it can be a midpoint of AB such that A is to the left of M because it's the most leftmost point. If you define left, you just draw these lines until you reach the final point or final number of points and call this the leftmost point. Okay, so that's one thing, but there could be many points here. So you take the one that's in the corner. So there's no point that's below it or to the left of it. So all of this space, actually no, no more like all of this space, including this line, is done. There could be other points here. And now with that, what do you have? You have if this point, so there's no point that's in, let's say in hmm, this quadrant actually is just enough. There's no point in this quadrant, including these two lines. So it can't be the midpoint of any two points, of any two points that are already in the set. Ergo a contradiction and we are done. Another way of doing the same problem would have been to think, and this is like a bit more convoluted, but you have two points, A, B, and A. And this is also a midpoint of some other C, D. Now, the question here is, if B is always like a midpoint like this, then one of A, D or A, C is always bigger. I mean, this is actually usually the case that one of them is, I mean, it's actually not always the case because this is one of these two angles is going to be obtuse or at least right. And in both cases, you have the thing. So take the line segment, which is the largest, again, the extremal principle, take the largest thing, something with a largest property, this time line segment, among all these finite number of points, let that be the segment AB. And B is the midpoint of some CD. Right. And now, obviously, somewhat obviously, I'll say like neither C nor D can be on the line AB. Otherwise, there would be a longer line segment than AB. 
So it has to be like this, but then one of the angles ABC or ABD is obtuse. And given that, this means that either AD or AC will be bigger than AB. Again, a contradiction. This is sort of like infinite descent. And like a way that you formalize this infinite descent type of thing is by saying, hey, let me take something with the largest property of some sort. This really solves our problem. And as always, thanks for problem solving.